while the birds and bees may not be doing it, the raccoons certainly are. Mild weather triggers a wildlife explosion. Find out how to keep critters from invading your home. The news hour on Global begins right now. Well, what do you get when you cross a warm winter with raccoons and bats? Big trouble. It's the relatively mild weather we're experiencing that's led to a population explosion among our local wildlife. Did you know that Toronto is now known as the raccoon capital of North America? And as NewsHour's Mina Re explains tonight, it's only going to get worse. Get ready to see more raccoons and wildlife scurrying about the GTA. Coming towards you. Out of the way. Here you come. The mild winter has meant the furry critters have been getting busy, mating months in advance. Business is up 20% for AAA. Wildlife control experts are having trouble keeping up. Animals now, rather than being curled up in an attic, keeping warm, they're moving about. And if they're moving about in mild weather, they're going to come together and be able to mate, which we're going to start to see babies earlier than we ever have. Baby raccoons should be a common sight come the first week of March. And the caretaker of the Metropolitan Community Church says, brace yourself. Big nightmare. And there's more and more of them. I guess we've estimated, what, about five or six of them just from today, from what's been seen. There's the, the, the one that died that was in the tower. There's three upstairs, one that was up there. And if she's protecting a nest, who knows how many babies they have. It's, a, it's an infestation, it's an attack. The weather did lead to this damage, but not in the way that you'd expect. There are so many raccoons living up in this attic that the accumulation of their urine and feces made the ceiling come crashing down during the middle of a wedding ceremony. All animals are opportunistic. They're looking for weak spots on homes to gain entry. So people should be concerned about open chimneys, roof fence, that sort of thing, where the animals are going to be able to manipulate what's there and get inside their attics. So watch out Toronto. Be prepared, because here they come. For Global News, this is Mina Ree reporting.